Few things accurately capture the ambition of India's ultra-wealthy more than the world's tallest building. In 2005, Indian industrialist Bagagathru Raghuram Shetty, a resident of the United Arab Emirates, paid 45 million dirhams, which is about $12.25 million, to buy the entire 100th floor of the 828-meter-high Burj Khalifa, a Dubai skyscraper twice the height of New York's Empire State Building. Most of us will never see that kind of money in our lives, but it was just another transaction for the 80-year-old Indian who owns and controls a healthcare and foreign exchange empire. Want to know how else these ultra-rich Indian billionaires spend their money? Keep watching to find out. But before we dive into this video, take a moment to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get started. The Burj Khalifa is a famous landmark noted for its stunning architecture and first-rate comforts. It is an extraordinary honor and source of tremendous satisfaction to be able to own a portion of this one-of-a-kind edifice. To say the least, the view is mesmerizing. You can see the entire city of Dubai and its architectural splendor. Shetty is one of an increasing number of Indians who can afford such opulence and beauty. While many Indians remain impoverished, the number of ultra-high net worth individuals, which means those with $30 million or more in investable assets, is constantly increasing. According to a 2020 research by Capgemini and RBC Wealth Management, India ranked 10th in the world in terms of ultra-high net worth individuals. According to Wealth Insight, a global firm that measures the world's uber-wealthy, the country had 156,000 millionaires in 2013, and that figure is expected to more than triple by 2025. Young entrepreneurs, major industrialists, and business families dominate India's wealthy people ranking. The wealth of these folks is multiplying, mostly because of rising equity market capitalization, consumerism, and real estate values. According to Wealth Insight, the combined wealth of India's richest expanded by 44% between 2014 and 2018, reaching about $2 trillion by the conclusion of that four-year period. The super-rich in India don't only amass wealth, they live large, too. Like their peers abroad, they like splurging on expensive things and exotic experiences in a full display of excessive money. The millionaire Shetty is known to enjoy expensive cars and is reported to own a complete collection, which includes a fleet of Rolls Royces and a Maybach, amassing real estate. If you look closely at any high-end purchase of real estate, you may notice the hand of an Indian investor. According to research, India's ultra-rich have about 44% of their net worth invested in real estate. According to Dubai Land Department statistics, Indians are the top foreign buyers of Dubai's architectural marvels, including the towering Burj Khalifa. They make up a big portion of their internal investors. India is only four hours away, so the physical proximity, the sizable Indian population in the region, and the strong trade relations between the UAE and India are the factors that drive this massive investment in luxury real estate development factors. The Palm Islands, the world's largest man-made islands, which are styled like palm trees, are also in high demand as luxury residences in Dubai. Indian investors make up a sizable part of investors in Dubai developments. Their holdings cover an extensive variety of homes, from luxury waterfront villas to mid-range accommodations in high-end Dubai neighborhoods. According to Weatherall, an estate agent that specializes in Mayfair properties, Indians are the largest group of overseas buyers in London's elite residential neighborhoods such as Mayfair, accounting for 25% of all purchases. According to the agency, Indians are second only to British buyers and far ahead of Asian and continental European customers. These billionaires also own more land in the UK than Russia and Middle Eastern buyers. India's super wealthy class spent about $703 million in 2023 on 221 residential homes in central London, including Mayfair, St. John's Wood, and Belgravia. India, which is a former British colony, has historical ties to Britain. This means Britain is a place that they have a natural love for. The Edwardian era saw some of India's richest princes acquire homes in London, and most notably Nizam of Hyderabad, who owned Hyderabad House at No. 6 Place Green in Kensington and purchased estates for his family in Mayfair and Belgravia. A house in Mayfair will normally cost between $1.56 million and $31.25 million for an Indian tycoon. During the peak of each British summer, approximately 3,000 wealthy Indian families flee India's summer heat to reside in London.
Indian billionaires like to spend, and when they do, they spend big. They own some of Mayfair's most renowned hotels. The Sahara India Pariwar Group, for example, owns the famous Grosvenor House Hotel, which was purchased in 2010 for $734.6 million by Indian tycoon Sabrata Roy. That's only where it begins. According to the Chicago-based National Association of Realtors, Indians are the fourth largest property buyers in the United States, behind only Canadians, Chinese, and Mexican. Can you imagine that? A rising number of Indian millionaires and billionaires are approaching Canadian real estate company Private Islands Limited for suggestions on purchasing a hidden sanctuary. It seems Britain isn't enough for these Indian elites. They want the whole world. Splashing on private jets. Private aircraft are the ultimate status symbol and a must-have accessory for India's top flyers. According to consultancy firm Frost & Sullivan, Indian consumers account for 12% of the worldwide private jet industry. Affluent Indians own 142 private planes, ranging in price from $4.5 million in light jets to $310 million in heavy jets. Top business barons like Mukesh and Anil Ambani, Vijay Malia, Lakshmi Middle, Radhan Tata and Gautam Singhania are among the owners. Bombardier, a Canadian business jet manufacturer, aims to deliver 1,215 planes to India between 2014 and 2033. The present generation of Indian billionaires knows the importance of owning a private plane. Time is extremely valuable to those ultra-high net worth individuals. A private aircraft also provides them the privacy and freedom to choose their own routines. Luxurious Yachts Luxury yachts are one of the most prominent symbols of luxury for India's wealthiest. According to the Economic Times, the country's largest financial daily, the Indian market for luxury boats and yachts has expanded by more than 10% in recent years. This is in line with the prediction that India's luxury market, which was worth $7.58 billion some years ago, will grow to $30 billion by the end of 2024. Yet, due to insufficient infrastructure in India, many wealthy Indians are forced to dock their super yachts in foreign marinas, such as those in the UAE and around the Mediterranean Sea. The $90 million Indian Empress, owned by Indian business billionaire Vijay Malia of the UB Group and Kingfisher Airlines, is one such yacht. It's one of the world's largest yachts, measuring 312 feet, and is used for post-Grand Prix cocktail parties by Malia, who also owns the Force India Formula One team. Around 70% of Indian yachts are based in the Mediterranean, with the remainder in Goa and the Andaman Islands. While we won't call names, the majority of these yacht owners are in their mid-30s to 50s and own their own businesses. That goes to show you just how many of India's wealthy are secretly living large. Wouldn't you like to be one of them? Holiday travel abroad. Indians like to travel, regardless of their class, but the wealthy ones do it with style. Bagaguthru Raghuram Shetty, like the other members of his exclusive society, works very hard, but enjoys taking a break from his demanding schedule by traveling to Switzerland, Austria, and other regions of the world where natural beauty abounds. Nikhil Ganju, country manager of the travel booking website TripAdvisor India, stated that there had been an upsurge in Indians preferring to spend their vacations overseas. 75% of Indians plan to travel overseas in 2022, a 21% increase from 2015. According to a survey by Kotak Wealth Management and Ernst & Young, over half of India's wealthiest take up to three luxury trips every year, with each spending more than $40,000 on relaxation alone. While Dubai and Singapore are still attractive as flashy shopping destinations, many people prefer to spend their vacations in the Mediterranean or the Caribbean. Collecting fine wine Fine wine is capturing an increasing share of India's disposable income. While some of these high-priced purchases are for personal consumption, many Indians are investing in excellent wines such as Chateau Lafite Rothschild, Chateau Petrus, Chateau Hot Brian, and Chateau Cheval Blanc as a hedge against paper-based assets. The number of Indians investing in high-end fine wines has increased significantly. To give you an idea of how pricey these wines can be, Prices per case, depending on the vintage, can range between $12,300 to $123,000. Fine wine is growing more popular as a drink in India, and large hotels are beginning to import more high-quality wines. Indian clientele comes from a variety of backgrounds, including business moguls, athletes, and entertainment icons. Some of them have more than $20 million in foreign investments. Indian investors are extremely cautious and demanding, with a keen eye for detail. 
They are savvy business people who seize golden possibilities like investing in rare wines with both hands. With the growing demand, wine enthusiasts in India are establishing high-end wineries to manufacture super premium wines. Celebrities such as Indian-born, U.S.-based former tennis legend Vijay Amritaj, who created his own wine label, the Vijay Amritaj Reserve Collection in India, are drawn to the fragrance of a developing market. These ultra-rich love to find more ways to increase the wealth they already have. We can't blame them, though. Once you have tasted the sweet life, you will only end up wanting more. So what do you think about this billionaire's lifestyle? What would you spend your money on when you become a billionaire? Let us know in the comments. See you next time.